Oh man, do I have an interesting one for you today. Let's get it with the new opener. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, and I just had a crazy idea this morning. I was like, okay, well, I've been on this kick of, man, I want to find new champions that are good damage dealers in clan boss, as opposed to the same ones we always see. You know, my dude Fox using Bellinor, that's who I used to use on my original account. Draco's obviously amazing. We have Myth Fu here, Fearless Leader JT. Um, but then you, you're going to come down and you're going to see a lot of the same champions. You're going to see Fane, you're going to see Leo's a great new one. And I loved using Leo, but I also do want, you know, uh, an arena build for him. And so I've been using Fane myself. Uh, and she does fine damage. It's not that she doesn't, but I want a cool new champion for my clan boss team. And I'm determined to find it, okay? Determined to find it. So today, what we've done is we geared up Cleopa uh, Cleopteryx and we put her in some sweet clan boss masteries and i'm very excited to try her out okay i stole gear from a bunch of good people um so she was able to get pretty decent stats here i tried so hard to get her to 5,000 attack just couldn't quite do it 231 crit damage she's a little bit short on the crit rate but she's gonna buff herself so i don't know you know getting that to uh, 200 speed plus for, for your team is, is difficult on your damage dealers. And so there's only so much you can do, especially when we need accuracy. So I don't know. I think it's fine. You know, maybe we could have had less accuracy because she has the increased accuracy buff. But, um, what I'm interested to see is, uh, she's going to place the weak in and she has good multipliers. So can we get good damage out of her? Now, I, as you can see, I do not have her booked, okay? And that would obviously that would obviously help, okay? But what I like to do is I like to test them without putting a ton of resources in. And then if they do good damage, then, you know, then I'll pump more resources into them, right? Um, so, well, at least for legendary books. If it was an epic, I'd probably book it most of the time. Um, one of the recent videos I did not... But, you know, um, always check check for skins. But, <laughs> uh, so here's the thing, right? I don't know how well this is going to work, but I thought it was a cool, interesting idea. And remember, I'm looking for your ideas, okay? Who, who have we tested here? So I can point this out to you in case you want to go watch the other video. We tested, they're probably in the vault. Oh no, we tested Judge. He was very interesting. Um, we tested... I think I must have thrown her in the vault. I don't even remember her name. Um, we tested... Where is she at? This chick. Chani, I think it is. Okay. And we tested Turvold. Um, none of those champions really did that well, okay? So I'm really interested to see how well can Cleopteryx do, okay? Um, I don't know. I guess Calvalax might be a good one to do, but I'm really looking for champions who don't do poison, okay? Who do not do poison. And the reason why is because uh, I have... A lot of my champions in I have two champions in toxic gear, so I'm looking for other options. But honestly, there aren't that many poisoners that I would want to test, right? I was thinking about maybe doing Lord Shazar for clan boss. If anybody's ever tested him there, please let me know. That could be a cool, a cool other video for for us to do. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. If there are other champions you want me to test. Let me know if you think you have a good idea. They probably have to have decreased defense and or weaken in order for them to be good enough. That's my guess. 
Um, but I'm open to I'm open to somebody new and interesting, and I'm hoping that that's going to be Cleopterics. So in case you're not familiar, I do run the Bat Eater team. That end offer three for four, so three dollars off would be twelve. They're four dollars a piece. Hard pass. That is garbage. Please do not ever buy that. Um, we are in channel 143. Love it. So let's come over here to clan bosses. In case you're not familiar with my clan boss team, we do uh, the bat eater on my on my account. And so that's two man eater, seeker, pain keeper. The speeds are not that bad. And uh, you know, then that gives you one damage dealer. Okay. I think we have I don't remember who's in Toxic, but we have two champions in Toxic, and then, we're, so we're getting poisons on there. I don't have the gear to get a third champion in Toxic, because I did check for that. At some point, if I keep it this way, that will be my goal. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to go in, and let's just see what the damage is like initially, and that should give me a good idea but I'm just going to run this because I need to do some clan boss keys. I would hope we'd be able to at least two key. Like in order to two key, you just have to get to 35, 36 million damage. But the cool thing about Cleopterix is that whenever she loses HP, she's going to counterattack. And so uh, that's a very underrated part of her kit is that counterattack. And then between the heals from Life Drinker um, and the heals from Pain Keeper, uh, also we're going to get counterattacks from her Masteries. Uh, we should be doing a bunch of counterattacks. So we really should have Weaken up here uh, the, the majority of the fight, but I'm not seeing that. I, I have yet to see Weaken land. So it's possible that, you know, man, we still didn't land it there. It's possible we need books in her to really test her potential. And she is a champion. I've been thinking about booking, but I have so many good legendaries that I would rather book instead of her. Um, so I think our two champions in Toxic is Seeker and Painkeeper. I've shown those builds in other videos. Okay, there's the Hex that does literally nothing which is stupid. You should never have a debuff that does nothing. Um, and right now we are on pace. There's the weekend, finally, finally. Um, so let's see, what kind of damage does she do with the weekend? This is seeming like another Turvold type of situation. I mean, she's doing okay damage, but the Maneaters are doing more damage than her at this point. Not that one. That was not a crit, I don't think. Let's see. See, there's 58,000. We're getting 25s from the... Okay, there's 90,000 hit. That's not bad. 64 there, 52, 69. So, but like, we should be getting more damage out of our damage dealer than that. But we are scaling up a little bit. See, there's a 90,000 hit from Maneater. And man eaters definitely have a large potential. But see, her A1, her A1 is weak. Her A1, when she's getting all those counterattacks, is just not that much damage. But like, um, she is in Relentless, so she has the potential to take a lot of extra turns, right? Get a lot of extra attacks. She has Relentless, she has the Masteries, and she has her passive. So she has multiple different ways to get different attacks. But I don't think that this is going to, to result in a, in a good option. But I'm not sure. Not sure. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think she's going to end up being a good option? Do you think I should book her? What do you really think about Cleopterix in this clan boss team? Like, the damage is not bad so far. 
But really, if you're doing, uh, you know, if you're doing really good damage, like when I had Leo in there, or even Fane, we would do be doing more damage in millions than the turn count. So right now, Fane would be above 10 million, or at least 10 million, right? Doing a million damage per turn with Fane. And I think that's because she brings that decreased defense, which adds a lot, right? But with the Bat Eater, you only have one damage option, and that is, you know, in this team is Cleo, obviously. Okay, we got a counterattack there. Now, I'm not going to sit here and watch the whole run. I'm definitely not going to do that. So what I'll do is I think I'll just skip ahead. And then we'll come back. I don't like to like let the whole thing play out. I don't feel like anybody ever actually watches that. Everybody just skips ahead. Or maybe that's just me. Tell me in the comments below, do you want me in these type of videos to let this play out with music? Or do you like when I cut it and then chop out that middle part? That's what I need to know. So let me know that and then I'll be right back. All right, so we're back here, and um, we have definitely hit the two-key mark, but you can see the damage did not scale up as much as I was hoping here. You know, maybe we're going to hit 40 million damage or so, and maybe that's because we RNG got less counterattacks or took less turns, but I... I mean, definitely we would be doing more damage if that weaken was up continuously, like it, like I would have thought it would have been. Um, you know, this is definitely going to two-key, so I can use this for now uh, until I either re-gear Fane, who's going to do more damage, but she's still two-keying as well. But um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's really going to be worth it to put books in here. What do you guys think? Should I be putting books in here? Let's let's let this finish and see what our total damage is going to be and then how much damage Cleo did versus the others. Um cuz you know, we have those toxic sets, so those champions are going to do a pretty decent amount of damage as well. Okay, we're we're definitely over 40 million here. And that is that's not bad. Definitely not bad. It's not great, though. <laughs> but a two-key is still a two-key, even, uh, even if you do low amount of damage, right? You know, all we needed to get to was like 35, 36 million. So are we going to hit 42? I think so. Maybe not. Well, the clan bus is going to take a turn, take some damage from poisons, and then kill us. Ooh, 41.63, and Cleo did do the most damage, 13 million, and then the Maneaters did like 6 million and 7.7, .7. Seeker did 9 million, Painkeeper did 5, so 13 million from Cleo, that's not bad, that is definitely not bad at all. All right, well, what do you guys think of Cleo and Clan Boss? Did you enjoy the video? Uh, do you have other ideas for champions we can use in place of her? Um, I think that like her character model is amazing, so I want to use her in as many places as possible. Um, but you know, her gear is good enough that I could use her in arena just like that in Relentless. We already know that she does wonderful damage uh, now in arena. And this would be a great build if you're going to be using her in Faction Wars as well. So keep that in mind. If you want a good Faction Wars build, this would be a good build for you to, to shoot for in Relentless. You wouldn't be required to hit those speeds that I did. But, you know, if you do, all the better. So thank you for watching. I'm MTG Jedi. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy Easter weekend. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.